Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Yes, sir. Holy Ghost. Is the first time? Yes. You came here with your wife? Yes. Tell her to come. There's something the Lord showed me. Kai. 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 Did you know what the angel said? I should tell you. Huh? As I was singing, the angel told me that you don't even understand what I'm singing. That you don't understand what I was singing now. Because you are not an evil person. Then the angel spoke to me that I should interpret it to you. That when problem comes around you, that you know that God is by your side. As I'm talking to you, there is something going on in your family where you were born. In that family, nobody raises his head to succeed. That sees the light of success. I don't know if I'm talking. You're looking at me, your wife is just nodding her. You'll be saying yes or no. Yes. Now, now, what I saw, I saw in the spirit realm is that the state you are now, you are so confused that it looks as if everything concerning you have turned upside down. As I'm talking to you, I saw a seed in your hands. And that seed is a fruit seed. The Lord spoke to me that you're praying God to be fruitful. Yes. There's something I'm going to tell you. The Lord took me to where you were born. So, how long did you travel? I've not traveled out of Nigeria. No, not out of Nigeria. I went for to Republic of Benin. Uh -uh. How long did you travel? Travel to your home, your village, not travel abroad. In the last five years, now I've not been there. You've not been traveling. Now, can I tell you what your father's house looks like? Hi. Can I prophesy to you? Every foundational obstacle that has held you bound, the Lord will break it in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear you. I said every foundational obstacle. Every sir, I don't know why I'm seeing an altar from Egypt. An altar. As this altar appeared before me, the Lord told me in your family there is somebody shall fire. Fire. In your family, there is this foundational problem. And that foundational problem, nobody knew where it came from. But I saw that the hand that brought it, brought it from a Yoruba land in a part known as Egypt. Is it Egypt? Is it Yoruba? And when I saw that altar being carried, now that is where that altar were brought from. I want to give you the history of what is going on in your family. Now that altar now we are placed in your father's house. But there is one thing that has kept you separate from what is going on in that family. It's because of grace. And you married a wife who seems to be a praying wife. I don't know if I'm talking to you. Okay. Now there's something that Lord showed me. Now, when this altar I saw that was raised from Ijebu, that was brought to your family, I was asking God, why did somebody go to Jebu to get an altar and bring back to your family? The Lord spoke to me. There was a time in that family when you people were not born. 
that there was death of children. That was death. You might not know the story. Maybe they have told you about the story. Now the Lord spoke to me that what was done then became an evil altar that has been speaking in your family till now. I don't know if you are hearing me. Now when I got to your family house, the Lord showed me a bungalow. You know what is called a bungalow? A bungalow in your father's center house. There is a tree standing by the side of this house I'm talking about. Now, there is two steps. Just like if you climb one step and climb the second step. When you want to enter into that house, that looks like a veranda. I don't know what you call veranda. That is how your father's house is, sir. Then at the entrance of the house, the sitting parlor is by the right. Then I saw a very big picture. Then when I was looking in it, I now saw an Iroko tree at the middle of it. Then I asked God, what is this Iroko tree all about? The Lord told me that that is the foundational problem that's kept your family. If you want to grow today, tomorrow you fall into nothing. And that has been the experience of your family from nothing to nothing. Instead of from nothing to something. But I see God about to restructure and restore your family. Amen. Am I talking to you, sir? Amen. I said, I see God about to restructure your family and restore your family. As I was looking in the spirit, the deity I saw was brought all the way from Egypt. If nobody has told you the history, Prophet Nonsor is now telling you the history. Are you hearing me, sir? Now, God is ministering to me that this Iroka I saw at the middle of that household has become the blockage in your family. And that is why at the age of your success, everything turns upside down. You are like a broom that is tied and something loses it, the head scatter. But God says, I should tell you today that something good is about to happen in your family. Amen. Am I talking to you? The Lord minister to me. Which of you attend? Are you a Muslim? I'm not a Muslim. Which of you attend? Well, now, we're going to now, let me say something to you. The Lord said, I should tell you to seek his face more. That the face of God that you will seek will uphold your husband. Did you hear me? That the face of God that you seek will do what? Uphold him. Sir. Both of you now who pray past Now, see, there's something the Lord is showing me in the spirit, right? Pray for your husband. You know, that thing the Bible said, when the shepherd is shot, the sheep does what? If this man dies, you will have a problem. God forbid. So, are you aware the Lord delivered you from premature death? Yes. Now, what I saw was that the hand of the enemy was to take you. But the Lord said that he kept you for a purpose. Do you know the purpose why he kept you? Are you sure you know the purpose why he kept you? For sure. You know? Should I tell you? Okay, you know. I should tell you or you know. You can say it if it is. When a prophet is prophesying, he went and carried a Bible. What does he want to use the Bible to do? Sir, 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 sir. let me just go straight to the point. Relocate your life to fire. You know your wife, they do like this. Uh -huh. Tell them. Make I tell them. You know for sure. You know for sure. For sure. And God says, I should tell you that it is you, you, that we pray out the foundation in that family, not a pastor somewhere. Only what we will do is to support you. And there's something I'm going to tell you so that that case will die. And any day that relocation came, the fruitfulness comes. And the Lord minister to me that the stagnancy you're having in the financial of, uh, financial part of your life, we began to move again. Amen. And thus says the Lord, 
a new door will open in your behalf. Amen. But before you go, I'm going to pray for you because of sickness. I would not want to say that openly because of the cameras. Are you hearing me? Yes. But I'm going to pray for you so that whatsoever the enemy wants to use to withhold you, we come to an end after today. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.